Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We've got another kit build for the kit build series here. This is the HO scale Walther's Skycraper construction site. So we're gonna open this up, take a look, see what you get inside. Uh, I'm not gonna build it how it looks on the box because it, that won't fit and won't go with where I'm putting it on my layout. But I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna build it uh, almost like a uh, scratch build almost. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it and then I'll add it to my layout. All right, so taking a look at what we've got inside here, very small uh, instruction sheets. Uh, there's a little history there. It shows you basically you get a base and then there's the main sections and then you're basically just bracing them together. Uh, and then on the back here, that's basically your finished product there. And then uh, you get this uh, sidewalk here with a cover kind of like you'd see in a city scene so that if you do need to use the sidewalk, just in case uh, things fall from above, uh, they will land on this and they won't hit pedestrians. I, I probably won't even use that, gotta be honest with you. Probably don't need it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a look here. I'm gonna put that aside. So now I already took these out of the sprue uh, in the essence of kind of moving quickly. Um, you get four of these, Whoa. and these are the main parts of the, uh, the building, All right? You get four of them, two, three, four. Uh, this here is all the parts for the, the walkway, right? Which I probably won't use. This here is the base, which I won't be using. Here are all your cross beams. Uh, I already took one out, <laughs> so it's not missing. But uh, yeah, that's cool too. We'll need that. Uh, this part is the roof for the uh, walkway. Probably won't need that. Uh, sidewalk. Now, I might use that somewhere else on the layout because um, it's sidewalk and you can always use some more sidewalk. But I won't need it for this. Uh, and then these are all just uh, oh, it's Americana here. Some uh, signage, retail space available, construction area, and then uh, some decals. So apparently it's going to be the new home of Liberty Bank and Trust, but that's not what I'm doing here. So let's start building. Okay, so this is a uh, foam core board that I'm using here. It's not very thick. Um, use a sharp knife and cut it. There's foam in the middle. Uh, this is the new fence system from Woodland Scenics. Uh, it's already painted and weathered. It's good to go. It has little forks on the bottom. So I used a pin just like this here. And I poked the hole and then I was able to put the fence right through and then I glued all the fence together. Okay so basically as you can see here um, I basically I made this too deep so there was the first one and then the second one there. Uh, basically it was only maybe about that long so I took the third one and I added a whole other extension uh, to it. Uh, I'm not sure if it was this end or that end it's hard to say at this point. And then I took the fourth one, cut it lengthwise, and I put a top piece here. Uh, I think I added a piece here, and then this uh, this squared off piece here. And that's basically it. And then I took all the center connector pieces, which are all the same length, and I filled it out right down the middle. And then you'll see here at the end, because the, uh, the part that I I'm working on uh, the uh, like where it's gonna go. This side of it goes a little bit farther back than than this end here. So I've got some beams that are gonna go back a little bit there. But that's uh, that's the build there. I mean, this is a custom build, right? So it's uh, it's not what the instructions tell me to do. It's what I wanted to do. So let's take a look at the section that it's going, and we'll we'll place it, and you'll get a better idea of what we're working with. 
Okay, so this is the area here that I wanted it to go. Uh, I did remove some foam, as you can see. I did, uh, I made uh, basically a cutout here of the actual uh, foam board piece that is going in here. So I'm going to pop that in here and you'll be able to see with the, the fence going around exactly how it's going to look. Okay, there we go. So we've got the uh, the foam piece in here with the actual uh, fence that uh, basically it's just like the privacy or safety fence there. I'm going to add some graffiti to that. Uh, not yet, but I will. And uh, then basically I have to use some sculpt -a mold and kind of fill in and uh, make it a little bit more like one scene so that it looks like, uh, you know, all one piece. Uh, now let's go ahead and I'm going to add the building here. Goes up a little bit taller than what I was hoping, but that's okay. And I still need to also level it out a little bit. Again, also okay, not a big deal. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I feel like this side should go down a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, wow, there it is. So I got a couple more pieces that I have to put on the back there. And then it's basically the, like the build of it is done. And uh, it's a skyscraper that is being built. Maybe it's a hotel. Yeah, it might not even be a skyscraper. I don't know. It's just, it's a building. It's being constructed. I have enough room in there that I can put maybe like a, a crane or something. And uh, yeah, it's going to, I got to bring the scene to life. But I mean, even that within itself, it will look pretty cool once uh, the train's going by there. And, you know, we'll have uh, maybe some guys up here working away, uh, maybe a welder of some sort. I don't know. We'll, we'll cross that bridge, I guess, when we get to it. But like I said, it's a, it's a little bit taller than what I was hoping for it to be, which I, I don't really care. Um, most of my other buildings, they don't go up that high. And you'll see the paper building there. It's literally the same height as the backdrop. I, I don't care too much. I really, I honestly don't. Um, it's a whole other scene. So, and you, I, I mean, I can't say for sure that the trees that are going to be on the other side of this wall aren't going to be poking out over top of it there. So, um, it's just a matter of getting your shots nice and low like this when you're, you know, filming the trains going by and whatnot. And, uh, I think the, the, uh, backdrop behind there looks really good. Just a sky, bright sky at night. And I uh, can't wait to add more to this just to bring it to life. This kit in general, like I've done this kit before, uh, it's fun and uh, it's really easy to do. It's, it's uh, you know, you don't have to be a beginner, you know, to struggle with this. You know, it, it'll, it's something that'll go together really easily no matter your skill set. And I, I took it obviously a step further by building it in a different way, uh, which you could do many different variants of that. You can make it taller, you know, you can make it skinnier. I just, I wanted to fill out this entire space here. So I basically made it too long and a little bit taller, one and a half tall of what the kit recommends. So that being said, uh, I really enjoyed the kit. If you want to get one, you can pick one up too. And uh, let's see what you can do with it. Because uh, I had a blast doing this. So, uh, But either way, this has been another unboxing and uh, kit build. Until next time, I'm Govier Go Home, but I've got a train to catch.